podcast and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited because we are here in not just some ordinary place. We are here in Big Star Dubai, the world's deepest pool. And I'm so excited because, of course, it's in Dubai. And this is where the biggest questions have ever been made. This is Deep Dive Dubai, with Khalifa, and many other things. And I'm so excited because we had an extraordinary guest today. Mr. Sergei, who made us tour in here in Deep Dive Dubai and who also helped us um, go into the world's deepest tour in Deep Dive Dubai. So, let's get right into it. Follow me. So, as you can see, this pool is so humongous that I can fit 10 compact whales in the pool. 10 full big whales, which is crazy. So, as you know, guys, the world's deepest pool, 2000 by, is so deep that it can go all the way down to 60 meters deep. Which is equivalent to one Boeing 777, a huge airplane, or 15 buses, or even 32 cars. And it's so big that it can fit, it can, it has the amount of water of 367 plus motor trucks to fill up the pool, which is equivalent to 14 million liters, which is crazy, guys. So, yeah, uh, so why don't we get into the pool? Okay, so this is uh, the uh, back house where uh, all the possible gear is uh, stored and uh, maintained. Right, so all of the like swimsuits, all of the Yeah, cars. yeah, everything, everything. Regulators and uh, over here in this uh, room, a more advanced gear is uh, these are known as rebreathers. So these uh, um, type of scuba units, uh, the air circulates without leaving the system. From this? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's basically you put it in your mouth, it's like the normal one, except that when you when you take some oxygen, you, it can last more because it, go, it goes into a yeah. different tube. Yeah, right? it goes over here in the back, so over here uh, there is a canister where there is scrubber. Uh, uh, soft no lime to be precise. Yeah. And the, the scrubber extracts the CO2 from the air that you have exhaled, and uh, after that, additional uh, oxygen or uh, helium uh, or a mix of those is added, and after that, you can uh, breathe the oh, same, okay. uh, oh, not the same, a little bit different uh, mix. Yeah, again. and this is what used to go down 60 meters. Yeah. Very cool, okay. Or deeper. Mm -hmm. And uh, those you were saying that there were like some... some... These are underwater scooters, from... which uh, divers oh, can yeah. use to move for very long distances, a few kilometers for a few hours. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Alright, so I think that now we should go to the next part. Yeah. But um, you might be wondering guys, why do we actually try suits? Well, we're lucky that we're here next to Sergey. So why don't we ask him? So why do we even need dry suits? Well, uh, dry suits are useful if you die in cold temperatures. Yeah, like uh, up to 60 meters. Uh, down to 60 meters. No, no, no. In uh, the pool, the temperature is uniform. It is around 29, 30 degrees mm. throughout because okay. the water is mixed and filtered all the time. Okay. But if you are diving in the open ocean somewhere where the temperature is, uh, let's say, colder than 20 degrees, then it will be it will be prudent of the so such diver to wear a dry suit. Some people here come to Deep Dive Dubai to then uh, dive into the ocean. 
Uh, some people here just don't want to get wet. <laughs> okay. Here we have uh, all kinds of different gas mixes, which uh, divers can use at different depths. So here is 100% oxygen, which will be used for uh, to speed up the decompression in shallow water. And trimix, which you use to go deeper than 40 meters. This one is as well, as well trimix, but with different oxygen percentage. Uh, nitrox, different blends of nitrox, uh, which uh, we use during the normal regular, regular dive. Also, double tanks. So the deeper you go, the more uh, gas you can consume and at some depth uh, double tanks become mandatory and over here is the compressor room the actual compressors are located behind the glass because otherwise it will be way too noisy but uh, here inside this room is where we can blend any uh, gas mix that is required most of the time we are diving on nitrox which is mix of Nitrogen and oxygen. Uh, sometimes we will dive on trimix, uh, which is the mix where more, some helium is added. This allows you to go deeper and to stay longer. So now that we're explaining to you all of the types of tanks and all the type of compositions, can you tell us what am I going to be using today for the 12 meter dive? And uh, also, what kind of um, what kind of composition? What like why would you need to do this special composition? And why can't you just put oxygen inside of the tank? Uh, okay, so we're going to be diving on nitrox okay. because uh, we don't use regular air here. Regular air is for tires. <laughs> for divers, uh, it's yep. better to use nitrox. Um, the deeper you go, the more the pressure increases and at some point oxygen becomes toxic to your nervous system. Do you know up to what kind of depth or is it around something? It depends on uh, the blend. If uh, it's 100% oxygen, the maximum depth is 5 meters. Oh, so the so all right, so that's why you were in, oh, you were saying 5 meters for the for the one that's shallow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, and we need to use a mixture of Nitrogen, oxygen, helium? No, just nitrogen and oxygen. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we will be using nitrous 32, where 32% is uh, oxygen nitrogen. Okay. and the and rest, and the rest is, nitrogen. is nitrogen. In normal yeah. air, it's 21%. And what do we need the nitrogen? What? what is the use of nitrogen? Nitrogen is inert gas. It's just there because it's we there. This. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. So why don't we get diving? All right. Uh, 
uh, clean it and purify it enough. Yes. So that's what I'm taking here. We're gonna clean it even more with the O3, the ozone. Then we're gonna bring it here in this uh, container, right? Mm -hmm. Where we have the water. And then from there, we put it directly in the pool. Cool. So very, very nice and complicated system. It's not that complicated. But as you can see, we have a pretty huge pipe. But anyway, it's really nice system and uh, really cost efficient system just to get this pool purified and filtered. So this is basically the safety room, right? Uh, the safety control area where basically there's only yeah. someone monitoring um, monitoring the, the screens here to see if there's any problem down there if someone loses oxygen or something then they can quickly go there uh, take take a, a, um, take some tank some oxygen go down and die to save the person and bring him back up and there's always something more than juicy they it's came over there um yeah and uh, here we, uh, we have some communicators uh that we can hear underwater if we have any message to transfer so if you wanted to say uh subscribe you could say that but this is more for uh, safety so we won't really say that so now we're going to shoot up for the time <laughs> So now we're going to be actually uh, diving now that we've got the swimsuit. This is going to be very fun. So now we just have to put the uh, goggles, the, um, the breathing compartment, and then we're set to go down. So let's go. So you already tried it, yeah? Yes, sir. You already know the scuba diving is easy and safe thing. Like we did in the Maldives, guys, if you watch that video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so we just need to remember about five basic rules. Rule number one is that you must always breathe. You should never hold your breath. Because when you're going down, the pressure increases, yeah? By the time you reach 10 meters, uh, the pressure will already be two atmospheres, not one, like now. So you will be breathing compressed gas at 10 meters. Yeah, the, the nitro. Yeah, exactly. The I density of it will be twice the air that we are breathing now. So imagine what's gonna happen if you take a balloon, you inflate it with this compressed gas, and then you let it flow up the air inside the balloon will expand, yes. right? Same with the air in your lungs. It always needs a way to come out. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Good. And Roll. you can see uh -huh. the, the compartment for the non-oxygen yeah. yeah. What's the difference between these two? Um, this okay. one is uh, the pressure gauge. It shows you how much gas you still yeah. have in the tank. This one is the depth gauge. It shows okay. you how deep you currently are. Yeah, okay, right, right, right. And we're going up to, um, down to 12 meters. Yeah. Good, good. So rule number two. Uh, also has to do with pressure, but this time it's pressure in the ears. Exactly. To equalize the pressure. Equalize. Rule number three, we have to communicate using signs. Yeah, I know the signs. You know. Okay, go up, go down, stop. Uh, fine. Slow down, relax. So the gear consists of three parts. Tank that's uh, made of aluminum and uh, is full of nitro. Okay, cool. Uh, then the regulator. You already know this one. You can see how much gas you have. Uh, this is basically to go up and down? Yeah, pretty much. This one is to breathe. Really try. Okay, I think close. Yeah. Right, right. Very good. And this is the alternate air source. Yeah, if there's an accident. The spare one. So yeah. this one, let me explain you a little bit because here we come to the rule number four, which means you don't need to go control, up too fast. Control your buoyancy and yeah. don't go up too fast. Exactly right. 
Uh, with this one I will be helping you, yeah? So if you don't feel like doing it yourself, I can do it on your behalf, right. yeah? But, but can you just like if I if I do myself, I can explain how it works? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically, as you are going down, the pressure increases. And whatever air is still left in the BCD, it will get uh, compressed. So you will be losing buoyancy as you go deeper. Yeah, losing buoyancy by going down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So to avoid getting all the way to 60 meters, you will need to. Add small amounts of air yeah. to compensate Float. for this buoyancy. So it's not like not too much of it will go float up, yeah. but just enough to, just to enough. remove the, the buoyancy going down. Yeah, just so that you hover there like a real fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And how do you remove? <coughs> move. Remove the, the. To remove the air as you are going up because you don't want to go up too far, yeah, right? Exactly. As you right. If I want to remove some. You lift this up, and then you press the gray button, and then the air escapes. So let's inflate it, uh -huh. and now you can use exactly like that. Okay, okay, great. And this is all coming from this. Uh huh. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's it, right? Uh, that those were four. Rule number five is that, that we need to swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go. Okay. But not with the hands, yeah. Yeah, with the. With Just with the legs. Like, yeah. Also, it's not a bad idea to be horizontal because on the water you will travel in a direction where your head is pointed, yeah? So you point the head up, you're gonna go up. You point the head down, you're gonna go down. But sure. if you're horizontal, you will be swimming ahead. Okay, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the maximum depth is 12 meters. We can spend on the water anything from 20 minutes to an hour, depending on your air consumption. Right, right. So I'll try to, uh, I'll try to breathe normally. Don't, don't breathe too much. Don't breathe yeah, too fast. Yeah, don't exactly. Too, no. Breathe like you are breathing now. Okay. So now we're gonna start diving. But just before that, we'll ask you a few questions. So first, what inspired, uh, what inspired um, deep dive Dubai to actually make this pool? What inspired it? Uh, it was uh, the project of uh, Crown Prince. He decided uh, Sheikh, uh, to Sheikh do it. Hamdan, Sheikh Hamdan uh, Rashid, the Crown Prince of Dubai, uh, made it, right? Cool. And uh, so I think that that's, that's the most important question to ask right now. So I think that now we should just go in the water. Let's go.
Uh, so now that we do this amazing dive and deep dive goodbye, uh, what is your, what is your, what what do you recommend to new people wanting to come here? I That's would recommend friend. to come and uh, try it, and uh, if you like it, uh, sign up for a course. Well, it, was ex it was very, very fun. And um, and well, like, what kind of courses do you do for the people watching? We do any courses, like literally any courses in scuba diving and in free diving. Wow, I think that that would interest a lot of people. So yeah, guys. Uh, as you can see in the video, it was really extraordinary. You should come here and do that and buy. I should try it out and maybe do one of them courses. So, yeah, see you next one, guys. Bye.